Corfitrans PETG must be stored in the original packaging which includes a protective film on both sides. Keep the material stored flat or upright, not on an angle, and in a dry room at a temperature of a minimum of 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Avoid exposure to light and moisture. Always locate the label on your product and retain it or an image of it within your records prior to product activation. This will help with product tracking in the event of a quality concern. Orphitrans PETG is used in the fabrication of prosthetic test sockets and is only recommended to be used for supervised test fittings. Orphitrans PETG is easy to modify, it is not brittle, and it has a high impact resistance. To prepare for test socket fabrication, ensure that all necessary tools are within reach to be able to work quickly and efficiently. Keep a copy of the Orphitrans safety data sheets on hand at all times. Once the positive model has been rectified so that the shape, size, and smoothness of the model is to the technician's and clinician's specifications, the model will need to be further prepared for bubble forming fabrication. Roughly mark the trim lines on your model. Carve four air extraction grooves so that one groove is on each side anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral. The grooves will be carved in the plaster material proximal to the socket trim lines. The purpose of these grooves is to allow the air to escape when activating the vacuum during the bubble forming process. Next, spray the plaster model with an acrylic varnish. Do this below an air extractor and while wearing personal protection such as a mask and protective eyewear. The purpose of this step is to insulate the model to prevent moisture from coming into contact with the activated thermoplastic during the socket fabrication. Allow the varnish to set and completely dry before proceeding. Once the varnish is dry, vertically position the model on the vacuum platform and connect the vacuum pump. Vacuum is necessary to create a highly conforming, bubble-formed finished socket. Next. Treat the plaster model with a light layer of silicone demolding spray. The purpose of this step is to allow easy removal of the socket from the model following socket fabrication and the thermoplastic cooling process. Ensure that personal protection is worn while using sprays. Stretch a cotton stockinette over the model. The stockinette will further help the vacuum conform the thermoplastic and it will also help with the removal of the socket following the bubble forming fabrication and thermoplastic cooling process. Ensure that the stockinette is positioned past the socket trim lines as the pattern of the fabric could otherwise transfer to the inside of the socket making the surface less smooth than desired. When this stage is completed, once again confirm vertical alignment of the positive model trying to make it perfectly straight before beginning the bubble forming fabrication process. Your model is now ready for bubble forming fabrication. Preheat the oven to 160 degrees Celsius or 320 degrees Fahrenheit to prepare for Orphitrans PETG product activation. Locate the label, remove it and retain it or an image of it within your records. To prepare for bubble forming, trim the thermoplastic sheet to the size of the bubble forming activation frame. Remove and discard the protective film from both sides of the thermoplastic sheet. Check the thermoplastic sheet for any damage or non-conformities before use and then place it in the activation frame. If damaged, do not use. Once the oven has reached the preheated temperature, the thermoplastic is ready for activation. The optimum activation times for Orphitrans PETG is based on the thickness of the sheet being activated. Recommendations for activation times and temperatures may be found in the Instructions for Use documents associated with the product being activated. Ensure that you are protected from high temperature heat by wearing protective clothing and gear such as long sleeves and insulated gloves. Place the thermoplastic frame upon the rack in the preheated oven and close the door to begin the activation process. Keep an eye on the thermoplastic as the bubble is forming and allow it to form to approximately two-thirds the length of the socket. Measure the longest side of the socket model from the trim line to the distal end to verify the needed size of the activated thermoplastic bubble. Wait for the bubble to form to the appropriate size. 
Ensure that you are protected from high temperature heat by wearing protective clothing and gear such as long sleeves and insulated gloves. Once the activated thermoplastic has formed into a bubble that is approximately two-thirds the length of the model, the thermoplastic and bubble-forming frame may be removed from the oven. Invert the bubble-forming frame so that the bubble is convex side up and concave side down. Hold the frame slightly off-center over the model. For best results, allow for more thermoplastic material on the longer, lateral side of the model. Let the thermoplastic conform to the model in a smooth and fluid movement. This will help prevent unevenness. Use light pressure to pull the material straight down. Avoid twisting or turning the frame during this process. Once the thermoplastic reaches the vacuum platform, slowly activate the vacuum suction. Ensure that the activated thermoplastic material conforms evenly and try to avoid air bubbles or wrinkles. Once the socket forming is complete, turn the vacuum off and allow the socket to cool on the model for 24 hours. Ensure personal protection during socket finishing by wearing protective gear such as long sleeves, eye protection, as well as a mask. Also ensure that hair, clothing, and accessories are not loose or dangling to be tangled in the machinery used during the socket finishing process. After a 24-hour cooling period, the socket is ready for finishing. If you haven't already done so, remove the bubble forming frame and remove the model from the vacuum platform. Next, cut to release the socket just above the proximal edge. Carefully slide the socket off the model, or break the model if necessary, to free the socket. Grind the edges of the socket beginning with a 40 grit sanding, and then following this with an 80 grit sanding along the trim lines. Smooth the edges by sanding them softly with a silicone arbor, and then follow this with a polishing arbor. Finish the socket edges by wet dry sanding by hand with a 500 to 1000 grit sandpaper. Follow this by slightly warming the proximal brim with a heat gun to make the edges extra smooth. When finished, the socket should have an even thickness throughout the device. Lastly, clean the socket, ensure that the device is free of dust, dirt, and manufacturing debris. Due to the robust characteristics of Orphitrans PETG, you can create holes in the socket using a milling machine or a drill without fear of the material breaking, tearing, or shattering. Following these steps will provide a perfectly finished high-quality thermoplastic socket that provides the support and comfort needed for your supervised test fitting. Always ensure your protection by donning personal protective equipment such as safety glasses or goggles, masks, and gloves where appropriate. Orphitrans PETG has tested to be stronger and less brittle than other common PETGs found on the market today. You can drill, grind, scour, cut, and even drop this product without fear of fracture. As previously mentioned, Orphitrans PETG is designed to be used for short-term supervised test fittings. Orphit still maintains the recommendation that clinicians should use a synthetic cast wrap to reinforce the test socket's connection to components when providing a dynamic trial. Solvents should not be used with Orphitrans PETG or with any Orphitrans thermoplastic product. This as solvents have the ability to change the thermoplastic on a molecular level. Even if the solvent does not appear to be damaging the thermoplastic, it can cause non-visualized damage. Therefore, it is recommended to avoid use of any solvents on Orphitrans thermoplastics. <laughs>